I'm here with Women's Grandmaster Kat Nemsova, who won today against Carissa Yip. There are so many teenagers playing in the tournament. Do you have to play a little differently against them? More tactical, less tactical, anything like that? Uh, I do have to play a little differently because I think they still don't have enough experience to know all the positions. So I try to play not what they usually play, not the main lines or not even the side lines that they used to play. I try to put them to a completely different position. It can be tactical, it can be you know, strategical, it can be closed center. It can be anything that they are not used to it. Something I would play, let's say, with Carissa. I want to play with uh, Maggie Fang. So it really depends on the player, and I just try to put them out of their usual chess. So we should not treat them monolithically as though they're all the same person. You have, you've identified different styles for the five teenagers. Yes, I think they play differently. They do, and uh, you have to identify it during your preparation. We sometimes hear you should take them right to the end game because youngsters can't play end games. Agree, disagree, or is that too broad of a statement? Uh, end game, you don't want to simplify too much, and also sometimes it's not so easy to get into end game. I mean, you can say that, but if they don't trade the pieces, what really happens? So I think uh, it can be a good strategy for someone, but it's just really hard. It's really easy to say, but really hard to done. And you graduated from Webster, I believe, last year. Uh, yes. What have you been up to this past year? So I decided to, you know, to enjoy my life, to be done with college, uh, and to try maybe to work, to play chess, to practice. It's a completely different life, so I try to explore new things. For many years, all we had as far as professional players, full-time players, was Irina Krush and Anna Zatonsky. Um, what's it going to take to get you, Sabina, some of these other teenage girls to choose chess over a career in engineering or academics or something else? Mm -hmm. Well, there has to be enough opportunity and enough financial support because it's really hard to compete with girls from Russia, with from Armenia. They are paid full time just as chess professionals, which you are not in the US. So if you want to have equal battle with them, you have to be equally supported. And since that's not happening, I think it's very hard for girls to choose to become professional here in the US. On the other hand, I think if you are talking about youngsters, I think they should focus on you know getting to college, getting to chess team. I think Webster University, SLU, uh, Texas Tech, UT does. There are so many universities having chess programs, and I think that's the best way for them to develop, to continue with academics in case you know uh, the chess career won't work, but really focus on chess because that's the best time they have. They have no worries. They can just focus on chess. And we always talk about the big three, both in the open division and in the women's division, with Nazi being the third. Do you feel like players like you and Sabina and maybe some others um, get overlooked a little bit? Uh, I don't know. Probably, but it's it's not my problem. I don't really mind. But I don't think it's so clear, like you said, the first three. I mean, you see Maggie Fang playing so well here. Uh, she's definitely playing one of the best chess here at the tournament, maybe, maybe the best chess. chess. So I... Uh, I mean, you, you put attention to people that, you know, deserve it over time. I understand that, and that's fine. Okay, and final question. Of all the female chess players in history, who do you look up to the most? Uh, well, that's a Or male question. players. <laughs> I, think, I think if you take historical... Um, well, I forgot the name. The first women... The first... Uh, are we talking about uh, Gepernashvili? No. <laughs> she was part Czech. I just, I just forgot her name. Uh, my research didn't go that far. <laughs> <laughs> I, I just blacked out completely. But from the current players, I mean, definitely like Susan Polker. I think she, is, uh, she achieved so much and now she kind of switched being still in the chess career but helping the youngsters to get there. And I'm, I mean, we see what's happening with Ray Robson, with Liam Lequang, with Wesley. So, so I think you can help so much. So I think that's somebody uh, we can look up to. Katarina Msova showing some love to her former coach. Thanks for your time. <laughs> Thank you.